Hi everybody, it's Amy. Today we are out here in Winter Garden, Florida and we are touring another inventory home. We are at the community of Waterlee, which is a DR Horton community, and this is an inventory home, which means this is a home that's here and ready and waiting for you and your family, and this is another incredible floor plan. This is the Kalen floor plan. Now it's um, 3,355 square feet, two-story home, four bedrooms, four and a half baths, all the bedrooms are upstairs. This home also gives you um, a formal dining room as well as a office space, or you could use it as a formal living room. Now remember, this is an inventory home, so that means that the home that we're looking at is the one that is available for sale right now. Now these things sell very quickly in this community, so I wanna make sure that I mention that if you are interested in this home, please make sure you call me as soon as possible because it may not be here. However, Take note of the floor plan against the Kalen because if this inventory home doesn't work with your time frame, it's certainly a floor plan that you might consider building. Okay, so let's take a, a tour of this gorgeous home. You've come in the front door and one of my favorite things with DR Gordon is that they have arches everywhere. I love arches over the entrances to the rooms. So over here to the left, as soon as you enter your front door, you have your big archway, your lighting fixture, and you have your formal dining room. This obviously sits at the front of the home. Your two big windows give you a gorgeous view out the front. This room is carpeted and the color palette here are all tans and creams. Really nice neutral color palette. There's a tray ceiling here in this formal dining room, as well as the double arches that takes you to your entrance to the, uh, to the kitchen. So over here to the right as you enter the front door, again, this is not a, a privacy door here, so this room is open. Again, it's a nice, big, gorgeous arch. You can use this really for whatever you want. If you want to use this as a formal living room, that would be great. If you need an office space, this would be great as well. If you just need an extra space, maybe to put kids' toys, again, it's a great option for you. Also like it, located at the front of the home with those two big windows letting in all that gorgeous Florida sunshine. While we're here, make sure you take note of the tile on the floor. You can also, um, you know, the design features that they've got, the lighting fixtures, for instance, our railing that goes upstairs. You have the dark stain and the iron spindles. Those are really important to point out because again, this is the home that is for sale. Right behind me is your downstairs power bath. So you have your toilet, you have a pedestal sink and an oval mirror in there. Continuing on, now by the way, there's tile extended all throughout this first floor, which is really incredible, with the exception of the, um, the office area and the dining room. This is really gorgeous, big open space. So let's take a minute to look at all of this space. So from like quarter to quarter here for your family room area, a really nice large amount of space. You also have a gorgeous tray ceiling and you already have a lighting fixture in there. And I'm gonna tell you, that's one of those things that personally, I think it's fantastic because whether or not you opt to change out that lighting fixture and put in a ceiling fan later, you already have a lighting fixture. And trust me, when we moved into our home, we didn't have lights for a while. So we had ceiling fans with no lights. So we had to figure that one out. So take note, you got light. Yay, let there be light. Okay, so this house also has so much, speaking of light, sunshine. Look at these windows across the back of the home. This really is beautiful. You've got big, large windows that look out to your covered lanai area, as well as a side window here. Now, if you can see, I'm not sure if you can from here, but there's actually water right there kind of across the street. Now, eventually there will be houses here, but you're still going to get the views of the water, especially from your upstairs. Now, let's take a look at the kitchen because the kitchen we know is one of the most important parts of the home. So here we are, you have a nice, big, gorgeous kitchen. You have a nice, large island with a, looks like a 50-50 sink here, meaning 50 even, even, even um, amount of space for both sinks. You can also take a look at the, um, the granite countertops. Again, perfect color palette matches with the tile. The tile, which by the way, is laid at a stagger. You've got tans and creams and dark browns, little flecks of kind of blacks and, and even some whites in there. So again, neutral palette. You have dark cabinets, you have hardware on your cabinets, which is really nice, because not all of the cabinets come with the hardware. And you also have a really nice coordinating backsplash. Really nice kitchen, you have a lot of space in here. Now, not only do you have the space here, but you've got your butler's pantry area over here. Here's your pantry, 
and then you have additional storage space right here. Now, if you wanted to, you could add something here. Remember, this is an inventory home, so what you see in this home is what is for sale. So you have this extra little nook over here that you can certainly do something really creative with it. Maybe put a little desk right there. Kids could do homework, I don't know. Over here is your day-to-day -day dining area. Because remember, you had a formal dining room up at the front of the home, right? But here's your day-to-day -day dining. This is where you're going to pretty much have every other meal except those big holiday and celebrate celebratory ones. So you're gonna make sure this is your, um, your dining room area. So let's back over here to this part of the home. You have a pool bath. That's right, a pool bath. Now you don't have a pool, but I bet you could build one. Of course you can build one. You have a nice backyard for that. But so back here at the located at the back of the house, you have um, it's actually it's a full bath. You have your sink, you have your toilet, but you also have this glass door shower. So the glass door shower makes it really nice for guests, for friends, family, anybody that might be utilizing your outdoor space to be able to come in and rinse off. Now, keeping that in mind, you have this door here that is um, a glass pane door that would take you out to your backyard area. Now, there's, like I said, there's not a, not a pool back there yet, but you can build one. Whatever you choose to do with your outdoor space, you'll be able to access it this way. All right, so the garage. Remember, this is a three-car garage. So, we have a step down. Let's see if we can come out here. And you have a three-car garage. So it's a three-car tandem. And what that means is you have two garages on with two separate doors, by the way. Some people really like that. They don't like the one big door. They like the two separate ones. Well, there you go. Two separate doors. And then you have your third bay is back here. Perfect for storage. If you've got kids' bikes and things like that, maybe you have a motorcycle. Make sure you wear your helmet. Um, anything else you might want, you can store up here. Who knows? You, you decide what you want to do for your family. But the fact that it's a three-car garage is fantastic. Okay, so... We're going to go upstairs because we have a lot more to see of this gorgeous Kaylin floor plan. I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so now we're upstairs with this really beautiful Caitlin inventory home. We've come up the staircase, which again is located at the front, and look at that gorgeous window that's located in the little stairwell. Again, giving you gorgeous views of the water that's in the front of the home. Keep in mind, we have water that we're going to be able to see from the sides. So we've got some really nice water views. Okay, so we're going to go back this way first, and then we'll end up over here. So over here to my right, to your left, is the laundry room. Having a laundry room upstairs is really smart. All the bedrooms are upstairs, so why would you want the laundry room downstairs, right? You don't want to have to lug those, those laundry baskets up and down the stairs. So the laundry room, and by the way, that was really big. Here in this hallway, this is where you have two bedrooms, a full bath, and then you have a linen closet. So linen closet back here behind me, and you have a nice full bath here. I really like how in the, um, the bathrooms are really smart with making sure that you have your sink area, and then you have a privacy door here, for the, uh, for the tub and for the toilet. So you can really be utilizing the space, especially if you've got two kids sharing the room or two guests. So big full bath there, and then you have two bedrooms over here. Really nice big bedrooms, and you've got the double-doored closets here. So you have a nice size closet, which is important because you want to make sure you have room to put all those clothes or all those toys. So again, the color palette, super neutral. It's the same colors as we had downstairs. So you have like a the tan, kind of a cream on the walls, and you have a nice uh, tan cream carpet. Over here you have another bedroom. So this is bedroom number two. And this one has a nice big walk-in closet as well. So again, big, big room, nice big window, and you have a really large walk-in closet. So let's just say you had, you know, a son and a daughter, and the son doesn't have that many clothes because, you know, he wears the same thing every day, but you have a girl and she goes crazy. Okay, maybe that's the girl's room because she's got the big walk-in closet. Now, before we scoot out of here, I want to just make sure you see, this is a nice area right here. You have a lot of space in this hallway. So if you wanted to do something creative here and put a little desk and the kids could do homework, that might be an option there as well. Now, here we are in the main hub of this upstairs. This is a huge flex space or game room, whatever you want to make it. If you've got kids to fill these wonderful bedrooms, then you might want to use this as a nice big game room for the kids to hang out, play, do their video games, do their homework. Um, you know, maybe do a workout or something up here. But again, really big room. So you come up the stairs and this is what you enter into, this nice big flex space. Over here to my right, to your left, is another bedroom, but this one has its own full bath, which is, again, really nice. Think about you and your family and what your needs are, and maybe this home works for you. So behind me, you have a big walk-in closet, a nice big room. By the way, this is a really big room. This is a nice size room. And you have a big full bath over here. So again, you've got your sink, you've got your toilet, and you've got your shower. Design option-wise, it's the same cabinets as downstairs. Beautiful cabinet, beautiful tiling, white tile up on that shower stall. Now we're going to end up in the master. Now remember, when we were downstairs and we pointed out that there was water kind of across the way. Well, remember, this community is called Water Lee. 
one of my favorite communities specifically because of all of the incredible water views and how they have really strategically designed the layout of this community to best maximize those views. So let's just take a moment and look at the view from the master bedroom window. Now, full disclosure, there will be um, homes built across the street, but you can see that you are up high enough, you're still gonna have some incredible views. Okay, so here's the master bedroom and it is enormous, big tray ceiling and a nice room from corner to corner. You have a plenty of space for your furniture. I also like that these three windows here across the back are sitting up a little bit higher. You can tell these are your standard windows, window sill standard height. These sit up a little bit higher. Again, just kind of really giving you a nice wall of windows, but if you decided you needed to put a little sofa, a bench or something there, you still have room to do it. Nice big walk closet. I mean, this is big. This is a really, really, he's almost at the wall a nice big deep master closet. So it's not separate his and her closet, it's not separate, but this is just as big. It's just one big gigantic one. Maybe he gets that back end and she gets both sides. Over here, master bathroom, really, really beautiful. Separate his and her vanities, which is nice. That way you're not bumping elbows when you're getting ready for work in the morning. Each has their cabinets and counters. Each has their mirrors and their lighting fixtures. You have a nice big shower here. Now this is a silly thing, but this is really, it's kind of important. I like to point out not only the design option, but if you take a peek and look at the little niche cut out inside that shower, there's where you put your shampoo bottles or your shaving cream, whatever it is that you need. It's really nice to have those. Not all homes have them. I like that this one does. You have your garden tub back behind you with, again, a big, beautiful window up above. You have your privacy door for the toilet over here, and then you also have a linen closet in the master bathroom. Again, really, really nice. One thing to point out that this is an opening this is not a privacy door, but you do have a privacy door for the toilet. So if you're showering, you're tucked back behind. If you're you know, going potty, you've got a door. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up this video because I'm sure you're tired of listening to me talk. All right, so this is an inventory home. We are here at Waterley. Waterley is a DR Horton community, one of America's most fantastic builders. Again, remember, I don't represent the builder. I just happen to know that this particular community sells like hotcakes. And you have to come tour this in person because I really want to show you all that this community has to offer. And we'll make sure that we get you in touch with an actual DR Horton representative and they can really go over these floor plans with you. But if you're looking for help finding your home, call me at 407-848-8042. If you are interested in this home specifically, you really do need to act fast. Not putting pressure on, I'm just gonna be honest with you, this community sells very, very quickly. Builder has some great incentives. Pricing is fantastic. This is so close to Disney, yet not in the middle of all the touristy part of it. And I have to tell you, absolutely perfection all the way around. So give me a call, 407-848-8042. Also make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can be updated with all the latest and greatest video tours of model homes, inventory homes, resale homes. I just wanna make sure that you are ready to move here and I hope I can help. Again, give me a call, 407-848-8042. Happy house hunting.